State of Texas has the highest number of reported all-terrain vehicle-related deaths. That's according to a recent report by the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission. The McAllen South Texas Health System and McAllen Police Department now joining forces in a summer safety campaign aiming to save lives. Our Joanna Guzman explains. Two million emergency room visits for all-terrain vehicle-related accidents were registered nationwide between 2000 and 2015, 25 percent being children under the age of 16. That is according to a surgeon at the McAllen Medical Center. I've never seen an ATV accident patient arrive with equipment on. I've never seen a helmet and full body protection. In a demonstration this morning, doctors showed us how an injured patient is treated. Receive any medications or IV fluids on his way? IV fluids in route, no medications. Dr. Simpson says the impact of injury can be reduced by 50 percent just by using the proper equipment. Neck, chest, and spinal cord injuries are only a few that can result in paralysis, with brain injury being the most damaging. If someone has the proper helmet on, not only is it protecting uh, facial bone fractures, but it's also protecting their brain, which is the most important thing. Um, that impact that they would otherwise feel being thrown from an ATV, would that um, helmet would absorb uh, most of that impact. The mother of an eight-year-old dirt bike rider, Alejandra Ortega, also an injury protection coordinator with the hospital, shares how she ensures her son's safety by outfitting him in full safety gear and using a speed restrictor. But he does have the governor on the throttle, which keeps it in first gear. It's kind of like him riding a bicycle. So he's going to go as fast as a bicycle. He can ride a bicycle pretty much. Ortega shares how severe an accident can be. We've seen, uh, we've seen a lot of uh, cases where sometimes it's just a short-term disability they may have a broken bone in a month or so you know they wore a cast and they're healed they're all better now we can have long-term disabilities where they're uh, paraplegic they won't be able to walk anymore or we can even uh, they can even die the ATV Safety Institute offers free training classes the second Saturday of every month in Brownsville. For more information, you can dial that number on your screen. That is 1-800-887-2887. In the McAllen Newsroom, I'm Joanna Guzman, Local 23 News. McAllen Police reminding riders that using ATVs on public roadways is prohibited unless the road is not an interstate or limited access highway.